Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video. Today we are taking a look at the Diamond Lil B24 LB30 converted into a C87. Did I say all that right? I don't know. Let's get started. All right, so this is the original B24 that I built in 2018, which is based on Diamond Lil, which is a real B24. And the real Diamond Lil was contracted to be built for France in 1940, was delivered in 1941 to the British Air Ministry, and uh, yeah, there you go. It had a real history. And what's interesting is the Diamond Lil is number 25 of 18,482,000 B-24s built during World War II. Can you imagine that? This is the 25th bomber ever built, and it is alive and well, and you can see it in person. Uh, use the links below in the description if you want to find out where she's at. But uh, yeah, so this is the original version, and I like this version. It looks pretty good. Uh, there's the artwork. I think I cleaned up the artwork on the new one. Did I? Oh yeah, I did some artwork cleanup. I did a lot. Um, so interesting thing about the artwork. So this artwork is not on the real plane. It was a proposition by Django Studios. They were repainting Diamond Lil and they were looking for an artist to do some artwork. And this is what he submitted. I really like this one. But unfortunately, it was not used. They went with more of a, like, kind of like a redo of what they already had. I'll show those pictures to you right now. So this is the older Diamond Lil paint scheme. And this is the updated one. So there you go. So what I decided to do was put the artwork that was submitted onto the original configuration of the B-24. So the B-24, when it rolled off the assembly line, was a LB-30, which is a kind of a transport plane, and it was converted into a C-87, which was transporting goods uh, back and forth. So this is what it looked like in 1941, I guess? No, not this color. I don't know what color it was, but uh, it was this configuration with, you know, the nose and all that stuff. So today, the Diamond Lil is no longer in this configuration. They made it look like a B-24A, which it is. It's a B-24A, but it's a B-24A in the uh, fighting configuration. So it has the uh, the glass front end. What do they call it? The garden? Not the garden. What do they call it? The greenhouse. Aha, I figured it out. The greenhouse. The greenhouse nose. Um, I think it has a bottom glass. Does this one have the bottom glass? No, it does not. They had like a bottom glass down here. I don't know what it was called, like a bathtub. And they would shoot a gun out the bottom. So that was the configuration. Anyways, that's from 2018. Let's look at the newer version. I painted a different color. I just got sick of having so many dark green bombers because the uh, witchcraft is like that as well. Um, oh, these, I forgot to talk about these. The uh, pistons here, that is uh, from Captain Miro. I, I love that. So it makes it look like a radio engine which is always cool. And as I said, I cleaned up the artwork, so she's a little bit more smoothed out. She has a little cute nose there. I don't know if I love it or hate it, but uh, it is currently a little punchy nose. And uh, yeah, so let's see if I did the right buttons on this thing. Oh, yep, bug number one again. We have to replace that with push buttons. Okay, so there's the cargo hold. Goes back down. Uh, let's go ahead and Go inside. Okay. And this one, I, ha I have the seats in here. I'm thinking about removing the seats before I upload this. You know? Just just dump the seats. Make it a cargo plane. Uh, not that you can get very much cargo through this door here. But, you know. I don't know. Let me know. What you think? Should I dump the seats? I don't know. Um, so we have the, of course, the, uh, what you call it? Landing gear? And I wonder if this has the correct landing gear configuration, because we had trouble with it yesterday on the other plane. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. So let's go ahead and engage this. Oh, I have an update for the engines that I haven't implemented on the B-24s yet. But I'm working on a new plane, and so I wanted to go ahead and update these bombers so you can turn off the engines. Because right now, like, you turn off the pumps, and then the engines will slowly go off, because I have it, like, a default idle state. Idle state? And, uh... Yeah, so, eh, we'll get it fixed. All right, so let's fly this, and then we'll release it. Oh, after we fix the bugs. All right, let's start the engines. Again, this configuration is almost exactly like the Qantas, I think. Yeah, I think so. So, we're going to release the brakes. 
Oh, this does have the landing gear labeled. That's good. Uh, oh, what are my bricks again? Two and three. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, get rolling. We could take off just straight away. Shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Floor it. Looks like I need to adjust the speed of that tail wheel again. So we'll do that. All right. There it goes. And it is up. Ta-da! All right. Let's put the landing gear up, make sure everything's working. Oh yeah, I forgot this part. Is that right? Oh, it's wrong, isn't it? All right, put that on five. Uh, let's see. All right, well, we know how to fix it, because we fixed the Qantas yesterday, so no problem. That's easy fix. We'll do that real quick before release. All right, let's just slow this down. About 41. Turn off the autopilot and head back to the island. Well, let's see if I can land better than yesterday. Yesterday was so bad. All right. Where's my altitude? 400 feet? Okay. I'm terrible at this. Okay. That's not bad. Oh, we don't have landing gear. How bad am I? Landing gear. Woo! Okay. Alright. Oh, looking the wrong way. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine me flying for reals? Oh, it would be so bad. Oh! Oh boy. Look at that. Landing gear is busted. That's because we gotta fix that. Oh! Oh dear. Yep! That's a typical Indo landing. Okay, let's go ahead and fix this. Okay, first off, uh, let's fix the button. Alright, so do it fast. Alright, flip it, paste, turn that around, paste it here, find the button connection here, connect it, cut it, paste it, merge it, uh, and paint it, I think? Yeah, paint it. Boop, boop. Alright, good, good. That is fixed. Alright, what else do we have to do? Well, we have to decide. Do we want to leave the seats in? Let me know in the comments below. Should I kill the seats or leave the seats in? I mean, we have the Qantas one for seating. So, why should we put seats in this one, right? Alright, well, let me know. Uh, what else do we have to do? Thinking, thinking, thinking. Oh, you know, let's check the bottom of this wing. to Make sure that we didn't have paint issue. No, no paint issue. And so, the only thing we have left is the uh, silly wheel. So, let's go here. And we're just going to load it in. Watch this. And load it. That was our change, I think. <laughs> I think. Did I update the... I don't know. I don't know if I updated it. Let's hope I did. All right, so the easy way to test is to just flip that. Put the landing gear. It's not, is it? It's not. Oh my gosh, how did I not save the right one? So the problem, of course, is in here. And it's just this guy. We need a knot. And we just pipe this through here, pipe this through here. And this is right, right? And this one, I think this one needs to be off it. This was the light, I think. Yeah, I think so. All right, I think this is right. I think everything is good. Let's just test the front end really quick. So there we go, and then there we go there. Yep, good, good. We have the up, down, and uh, up. Okay, seating. Come in here. Come in the front. Oh, wait, we have to turn on all these things here. Engine, engine, engine. Boom, 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 boom. Turn on all of these so we have the lights on, right? So we've got the front lights, we've got the bottom identification lights, we've got the, uh, what are they called? Running lights, I guess. And that is it. Okay, cool. All right, let's start the engines. All right, unlock the wheel. Let's just take off hot. Okay, number three to turn, all right? Go a little bit forward again. Number three, 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 number three. Oh my gosh. No! Oh. Okay, well, not perfect takeoff, but you know, it works. Okay, so let's lock this tail wheel. See if it locks. Lock it. Okay, it says locked. All right, let's hit number five. Stabilize. 
and let's put up the landing gear and let's go check the landing gear front end here there we go as you can see it is locked ta-da all right cool i think we got it we're good so that is it we did it i think we're ready to release this one without too much trouble other than i'm gonna crash into the ground let's go up a little bit all right there we go all right so that's it for today this is our second b24 to release on the workshop that you can download using the description below and uh yeah oh no let's not do that let's come over here to the left a little bit uh yeah and then we'll do our dramatic flyby over the volcano again because it looks cool you know what maybe we'll interrupt it interrupt it <laughs> erupt it maybe we we'll erupt it okay so anyways as i was saying this is the second b24 on the workshop you can download it using the description below and that is it for today dramatic flyby Uh-oh.